wife. It was love that did this to you. Too much clutter. Doreso gave me the gem, kissed me, promised that he would be by my side forever. I sang for him. I sang for Oriath with his gem at my throat. Kalisa's gem. Kalisa's voice. I sang in her echo, performing arias that had once made the Empire weep. I listened to Kalisa's lullabies in my dreams. I gave myself to her music, mind and body. Doreso left me for San with a promise to free me from Kalisa. I begged him not to go, tried to show him the wonder of my transformation, the beautiful daughters he would soon meet. He couldn't see. None of them could see. I fled from their hatred. When Doreso returns, I will cast his cure away. I will teach him what true love is. It's nice to see there's still some life in this twitching corpse of a continent. Seeking out Mervale, a fool in love with death. Now, I don't know. Still, you've delivered this coast from the terrors that long held sway here. We may now find some respite, and that's more than any of us could have hoped for. But please, consider this. What have you become when even nightmares fear you? Singing squid didn't stand a chance. Knew it from the first time I saw those sharp peepers of yours. Pirates notwithstanding, I thank you on behalf of all the fallen brethren of the waves. Now that the final cadence has been played, no one need remember Mervale's song. Damn me! I didn't think it possible. All these souls Mervale and her brood have consumed over the years. That's why I fight over the dead, by those who still might live. Farewell!
Much clutter. Just like Aina. That is my name, Exile, Aina. In my native tongue, it means lone fighter. That is what Aina was for many years. But it is dangerous now to fight alone. Too dangerous, even for the mighty Aina. We are in the final days of this world, Exile. That, I am sure. We survivors must unite, prepare for the end and delay its arrival as long as we can. That we will need supplies, weapons, shelter, food. The others here do not understand me the way you do. Meet me in the riverways, and Aina will explain what must be done. You want to know Aina's past? That is Aina's business, no one else's. They were the first survivors. The first ones showed my people that to win, you must outlast. They left this world long ago to seek other survivors. But they will return. And when they do, I will join them in the Great Grove. And you will join Aina, yes? Yes. I've seen many an exile come and go, into the forest or into the ground. You seem different somehow. Different good, different bad, it's hard to tell at this stage. The name is Eremir, and for now you have the benefit of my doubt. Those bandits you've encountered out there, they're the dregs of Oriath, and with any foul broth, the nastiest chunks 
bubble to the surface. The lords of Larceny, Oak, Creighton, and Alira, the self-appointed monarchs of the forest, Creighton in the east, Alira in the west, Oak in the north, and this village, this tribe, we pay their taxes. I would never venture to say that life in Rayplast is easy, but with those three gone, well, living here might just become possible. culture that descended from the Asmerian mountains and founded the Eternal Empire so long ago. Not that these people have any understanding of their lineage. Their history, identity, all but destroyed in the Cataclysm. These Asmiri took in a disowned son of Oria, fed me, healed me. To repay my debt, I've taken in the orphans of a dead empire. I've read about Chevron of Umbra and what she did to the Warden at Axiom. You did well to end Brutus's sorry existence. But Chevron's barricade, that's sad news indeed. There is little enough freedom in Rayclast as it is, but to be stranded on that dismal coast, I pity the exiles to come. Would I know how to lower the barricade? Afraid not. I was a bit distracted the last time I took the pass. Hungry Goatman to avoid on that side, Alira's thralls on this side. I embraced the patronage that High Templar Dominus offered my struggling museum. I took his favor and conducted his research into the thaumaturgical arts practiced within the Eternal Empire. I wish I'd known then what I know now. That I was pandering to the warped dreams of a madman. Keep your wits about you. I am Nina, keeper of the spirit. Are you a kind exile like Eremi? He is good to us, helps us. You will stay and help us too, yes? A beast hunts us in her dreams. A great white beast, tortured and maddened by bad men, a long time gone. She will come here one night to tear, crush and eat. Her pain tells her to. Find the white beast and end her pain before she shares it with us. Iremir was a wise man in Oria. He is our wise man now. Hear him. You will learn much. If you do not hear, you will likely die. The forest children are ill. Once they drank from fruit, ate nuts and berries. Now they drink blood, eat brain and heart. This land is in a nightmare from which it cannot wake.
with the spirit. I am bruised. I hunt boar, hunt to feed my people. You are not a friend to us. You need to run faster than boar. Azmeri, you are not. Eremir is not. Life was good when it was just Azmeri. Yina thinks she knows the spirit that talks to her. She talks to herself. They fall from trees, try to swarm over you like fleas. Their chieftain stand back when he beats his chest. Bark is worse than bite. This is our home. We hunt, we grow, we build. Your kind in the forest kill, steal, and burn. Soon they will take it all, leave us no food. Then we must move, leave our home. Troubles you bring. Return. You and me, we are the same. We dream big. We find new places. We do not tell stories. Stories are told about us. I learn the words, the ways of Oria. You listen to me, and not pig heads like Bruce. Then you will live to find more places. The road. It runs east and west of here. To the west it passes the abandoned woman's camp, then turns south to the sea. But you say it is now blocked. I have seen a strange thing in the rock by that south pass. Like one of Grust's carvings, but of stone. You should go look at it. What has been closed might be opened again. Many exiles come this way. Eremir is not like them. Not like you. He is an old man with many stories. He teaches us words that you can understand. He teaches we as Miri to be strong. Not in our arms and legs like Rust. Strong in our heads. I like Yina. She thinks bigger than this place. She knows there is more to life than hunting and growing more. There is spirit. Grust is the big man in the tribe. All do what Grust says. But his spear goes limp when faced with the eight legs. Grust is the big man in the tribe. All. 
Her fur, her skin, it reminds me of biting winter. I see her one night, follow her to a cave in the old fields to the east, listen to her howl at the stars. A sad, sad sound. Great white beast, she full of old pain. That would just make life complicated. 